wait, 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 yes, wait. Let's solve this together. Like, let's just have fun. There is a very easy way to solve this and get your solution. But have you wondered what if we decide to use the difficult method? Now, let's do it together. Okay, let's just have fun together. Now, this particular question, let's solve it with the hard way first. Okay, okay. Don't mind me. This is what I want to do today. Okay, so this is the question. 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is equal to what? 16. Now, what do they have in common? 4 to the power of x, right? So if we write 4 to the power of x, now 4 to the power of x divided by this, if this divide this, we have 1 plus, sorry, if this is divided by this, we have 1 plus this divided by this, we have another 1 is equal to 16. So this same thing as 1 plus 1 is 2, right? So this um, can be written as 2 multiplied by 4 to the power of x is equal to 16. Okay, now let's divide both sides of this equation by 2. Okay, so if we divide this by 2 and this by 2, this we cancel this. So we are left with 4 to the power of x is equal to 8. All right, so this is where the whole twist started. Okay, but before that, click on the subscription button and on your notification bell. If this is the first time you are seeing this face, all right. Okay, now let's continue. So we are going to introduce log to both sides of the equation. I told you I'm just having fun. Okay, so let's introduce log four to the power of x is equal to log eight. Okay. All right. Now using the power rule, using the power rule. We can bring this down, right? Yes. According to the logarithm power rule, if you have um, log a to the power of b, this b can come down to multiply your log a, right? So we are going to apply that here. Let's apply it here. So this x will come down to we have x log 4, okay, is equal to log 8. All right, now let's divide both sides of this equation by log 4 divided by log 4. This we cancel this, we are left with only x is equal to log 8 over log 8 divided by log 4. Okay, all right, now our x is equal to log. This 8 is same as 4 multiplied by, by 2, right? Yes. Divided by log 4. Now, let's recall the law of log reading that states that log A multiplied by B is equal to log A plus log B. Okay. All right, so we are going to apply that to the numerator. Like I said, we are just having fun. After this, I'm just going to solve this in less than one minute, okay? Okay, all right. So we are going to express the numerator then as x is equal to log four plus log two divided by log four. Okay. So this is same thing as they have the same common denominator. So you can separate the denominator for both of them, right? So x is equal to log 4 divided by log 4 plus log 2 divided by log 4, right? Log 2 divided by log 4. Now this, we divide this, we have 1. Okay, so x is equal to 1 plus log 2 divided by now this log 4 can be expressed as log 2 to the power of 2 right so we have log 2 to the power of 2 <laughs> it's funny right like i said let's just have fun together okay now we have that x is equal to 1 plus log 2 divided by this we come down to multiply log 2 right 2 log 2 so we have x is equal to 1 plus now log 2 we do what we cancel log 2 so we are left with what half 
So this is 1 over 2. Now our x is equal to, this is same thing as 2 over 2 plus 1 over 2, which is equal to 3 over 2. So this is our x. Our x is 3 over 2. Now wait, wait. Now let's solve this in less than 1 minute, okay? Now, in less than one minute, you are going to get the value of x as 3 over 2. And we are going to substitute it into this particular equation to do what? To verify the solution. Now, let's solve this in less than one minute. Here, we can rewrite this uh, just like we have done before. That this is 2 multiplied by 4 to the power of x, right? So, we have 2 multiplied by 4 to the power of x is equal to 16. Now we divide by 2, divide by 2. So we have 4 to the power of x is equal to 8. Now the already, they can be expressed in the same base from here now, right? That is the, uh, what, uh, whenever you are uh, solving anything on that exponent, that is the, the best solution to use, right? So we can say this is 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 3. Okay, now... By law of indices or exponents, when you have two powers, you can actually multiply them together, okay? So that means you can express this as 2 to the power of 2x is equal to 2 to the power of 3. Same base, we can just equate the powers, all right? So we can now say that 2 to the power, um, 2x, sorry, is equal to 3 divided by 2 divided by 2. Our x is out as 3 over 2. Chicken. Now let's so, uh, put that into this equation to see if it satisfies the equation. So we have 4 to the power of x, that is 4 to the power of 3 over 2, plus 4 to the power of 3 over 2 is equal to 16. Now this is same thing as because of this 2, this is square root, the one below. As many as 3, then you talk of cube root, but it's 2, so it's square root. So this same thing as square root of 4 raised to the power of 3 plus square root of 4 raised to the power of 3 again is equal to 16, right? So, now square root of 4 is 2. So we have 2 to the power of 3 plus the same thing will happen here. 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 16. Now, 2 to the power of 3 is 8, right? So we have 8 plus 8 is equal to 16. Now, 8 plus 8 will give us what? 16 is equal to 16. The left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. So, our solution is correct. Thank you so much for staying to the end, and I love you. Bye. <laughs>